Good morning, folks. We've got a big story to hit today on Earth's magnetic pole shift, confirmed in math and observation. We'll also hit penguins, James Webb eye candy, space weather, and a special event coming up. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. It was a relatively calm day again, but the beginnings of activity coming back are visible as well. While we had little flaring and eruptive activity on the Earth-facing half, the incoming limb on the left was active. Higher sunspot numbers are going to return next week. About the most interesting space weather thing the last day was this little sundiving comet coming in and burning up on approach. Goodbye, little guy. Let's go next to James Webb, where the dust of the M82 galaxy is on display. Not in this old image, but in this new one here. Look at all that that our eyes can't see. Webb's long infrared camera is amazing for this and is not only revealing much more to galaxies than we knew existed, but it's showing how they have vertical expanse along magnetic field lines rather than just being contained within the flat plane. Quick jump to Antarctica next. Thousands of penguins have died, and scientists are on the case. Unfortunately, propagandists are in full force as well, as they want to blame that new bird flu they're going to use to screw up this election cycle. Field tests were allegedly inconclusive. I've got my eye on environmental impacts from the magnetic pole shift. And speaking of which, it was just two days ago we put all the evidence in one video. We hope you caught it, because scientists are catching on fast, and keeping up may get harder very soon. Top Russian scientists have done the calculations combined with real-world observations and shown that the major accelerations in magnetic field activity in 2007, 2020, and 2023 were the telltale signs of the approximately 6,000-year excursion cycle kicking into high gear. This method allows for a long runway but also includes our shorter timeline. Folks, we are in the geomagnetic reversal, the magnetic pole shift, and it's getting worse. Lastly, folks, on April 16th, we've got an observer's lunch event in Colorado Springs, noon to 2.30. Lunch is included in the ticket price. We'll be chatting about the Earth, the Sun, catastrophe, and there will be ample time for questions as well. Link is below. Hope to see you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.